Sub Shredders, my name is Logan aka Spiderhands and welcome to an SP Reviews where today we have ourselves a track from an act named Tim Gowert titled Save You. And if we switch over to here we have ourselves the track on Spotify with 74,000 74, plays, it's gotten a bit of attention which is great. We're going to listen through it from start to finish and we're going to hear what we think. Let's go. It's nice to come in with these synths, I suppose. Who's going to save you? Flat on the ground. Nobody will save you. Drowning and die. You can tell this guy's a drummer. I love those snare fills, but the vocals coming uh, coming through really nicely with the guitars and bass as well. Great use of double tracking there on the vocals. And it's just great to have more emphasis, especially with those little tom fills there. A bit of development in this hook session to kind of bring it in for the second uh, for the second half of the track. I liked that um, lead section there with the guitars because it kind of mirrored the hook melody and the chorus that uh, Tim is presumably singing. It's great. You, flat on the ground. Nobody will save you. Drowning and die. Time to close the door now. On all of the voices. That are keeping you down, making your own choices. Throw them all in the wind now. Let the rain wash away. Bring it up. Hey, repeat is nice. All those fears and doubts. Cast them away. It's a catchy single, what can I say, man? It's Nobody cool. will save you. Drowning and die. Those like uh Tom's da da dun da da dun da da dun they're kinda of going as a cooler response and think I to the T vocals, which is great. Excellent. No, I think I get what this track is about. Well done. Because this is my conclusion to this track by Tim Goer. It's titled Save You. What do I think this track is about? I, I think this track is about someone who is looking at uh, another individual and they're going, I know that you're on the floor right now with your face in the dirt and you're having a really difficult time, but like no one's going to come and pick you up and help you unless you're able to help yourself. That's the kind of and, and like they talked about the voices keeping them down. So clearly they're struggling with some uh, with some some difficulties. You know they're having some difficulties with thinking clearly and making good decisions and stuff like that. Just simply it's just overwhelming for them. But it's about he talks especially in that last little interlude section. He talks about closing the door on it and moving forward and trying to sort of like get past what was ailing them. Uh, so great. I think the story is positive and and motivational and it's uh it's, it's loved in a really nice warm way by Tim. Uh, on the mic it's uh it sounds like he's genuine about the message there he wants the person to pick themselves up or be able to get up from the ground and move forward that's an important lesson to learn in life but uh you know it can be difficult for people to understand sometimes obviously if people have actual sort of like mental health issues and stuff like that it's 
it's damn near impossible. So there's obviously that bit of nuance there, but for people that are simply just struggling, they're just having a really kind of awful day or you know what I mean? There's times where it's just simply about being able to pick yourself up or doing what you need to do to get through. And I think that that's sung really nicely by Tim. There was uh, a knowledge of putting like memorable, catchy hook lines there, the melodies within those chorus parts, a little bit of variation in the way of phrasing stuff and the verses in that interlude section. I like the fact that we understood to make them separate and distinct. Uh, you know, the bit, the bit of double tracking going into the verse, the choruses as well was nice. Uh, gave it a bit more sort of presence before we filled in everything with the tom fill kind of drum parts in the bass and sort of overdriven guitars. It's, it's a good balance of different elements there. I think in addition to this, you know, we had this wonderful situation where the song was, you know, within that two to four minute sweet spot down there in the middle. So very nicely centered. And I think that it had a great combination of elements in it, including like, again, the, the steel string parts that were kind of strummed or picked in the sides of the headphones going backwards and forwards, which is cool sound design in itself. Uh, but also the bass line was nice and thick when it was there, you know, like really supportive of the root notes or the chord progressions. The overdriven guitars that came in the hook gave it a bit more sort of oomph. The drums were uh, varied and diverse with the different rhythms and different ideas they have in there without being too much or too progressive for a track that I think wouldn't have necessarily benefited from that. So that's great too. I think it was nice that we explored the whole kit whilst not taking away from the verse or the various other bits of the main motif. So that was cool. You know, great balance of different elements there in the instrumental performance there. And I don't think we needed more lead elements there. Like we had a little solo section at the halfway point, which I thought was cool. It was nice to have an alternative to the hook lines we've heard like beforehand. Having a different lead voicing can be refreshing for a listener. So they did well there too. I also think that in regards to just the general th vibe of the theme, it was reasonably uplifting and warm and caring, but it also was reasonably assertive as if to say, the music was trying to tell you, yo, it's time I know you've been through some stuff, but it's time to move forward and kind of come out of this kind of lull that you've been in to move towards a brighter future and a better, better day ahead. Uh, so I think that everything was reason like really well connected, and I was happy with it. And generally, in totality, I don't think there was a weak point to the track itself. I think if we if it had been longer, it might have been a detriment because we knew to stop it early or to stop it at that three minute mark. It was it was great. Um, finally, the recording, mixing and mastering, the studio production side of things was fantastic. The vocals had a great, great clarity to them. I really enjoyed what was going on in regards to the spacing of different guitars in the stereo field. The bass parts were dope as well. They were nice and full and nicely balanced out in the EQing and stuff like that. The drums were reasonably subtle, but they were definitely there. There was dynamic range to the way they were played, which was great. Everything wasn't the same loudness all the time. And I think that everything was notched really well in the frequency spectrum and it was nice and wide in the stereo field as well. Lots of little, especially with the strumming of the guitar parts and the quieter verse parts, you could really hear them going backwards and forwards. It was really intriguing because of that. It made you kind of want to hear more because you're like, oh, it isn't predictable, but it's also nice to listen to, you know? Again, there's dynamic range. So, you know, things weren't the same loudness the whole time. The leveling of the instruments in general was really good. And it was nice and loud without pumping. So limiting compression was handled. I mean, basically, this is my review of Save You, a track by Tim Gowart. And hopefully you enjoyed it. If you did, please do go show us some love via the various social medias and the Spotify page and stay cool and stay safe. And please remember to support your local musicians at the point in time as either help more than ever with all the crazy stuff going on in the world and i will catch you in the next review spider hands out